It's a bit weedy on the beach. It's the first day of netting season. And Matt's got the super dinghy out and we're going to go do a bass net. What we're doing today is setting off the boat and picking up off the shore. Hopefully the suck out of that tide doesn't fill it full of seaweed, but only time will tell. Big wave. <laughs> Got a little wave action in there. As you can see, a little bit windy, but we're not going out too far. We only got one net with us today just to see what we get there is a hell of a lot of seaweed around so we don't want to be putting out too much just yet we'll let, we'll let the weather calm down but for now we just got one to play around with that's what you like to see first time every time all right ready And we're in. We made it past the waves. Look at that water. That just screams fish. Nice and murky. We're just, like I said before, we're praying for no weed, but we're probably going to get a little bit. <coughs> Four and a quarter mesh. So we avoid all the smaller catch. We're just going for the biggies. Nice colour green. <laughs> Super dinghy's a beast. That's the marker boy, so we know the tide's going to go low enough. And we're off. It's a nice, this is quite a clean net, this one, eh? Yeah, I didn't know how bad the other one was. Nice. Fair enough. Eight foot, high. Eight foot high, four and a quarter mesh, 100 fathom long, perfect little net. Eight foot high, so we'll get weeded out, so that's it, right? <laughs> yeah. Try and roll it out somehow. Come on, you fish. So basically guys, why we do this is the fish come in, they feed on the high water and then they leave the bay the last minute so the net catches them when they're only in about a foot of water. That's the idea, so even at high tide they can swim over the net, they can swim round it, but on the dropping tide when the tide goes down, that's when we catch them. A lot of people think we catch them going in but it's not, it's more when they're leaving the bay, the tide going down. Beautiful. Tighten her up. Ready for action. Look at that, we're close on the reef. <laughs> so there you go, guys. By setting in the boat, we're bypassing this, the wash up of seaweed. I'm trying to control the boat. So that's the idea of it, really. So we want the fish leaving the bay as the tide goes down. Hopefully there's a few of them. And this is, this is shore netting season now. So from the 1st of October to the 30th of April, we're allowed to net inside the bays. Um, half tied down is the line. Half tied down and lower is where you're allowed to set. You're not allowed to set high up the beaches. Just a little bit on the law. You also need a gear number from Sea Fisheries. They'll issue you a gear number and stuff. Just a little insight into it. Let's get it back on the trailer and then we're down with the wagon tonight. Oh, that wave was a beauty. <laughs> She's nearly on. Beautiful. See you tonight, guys, for the pickup.
we're back down the beach guys and we got a sausage <laughs> there's a sausage of weed nice little bass here nice keeper that's for sure hopefully we see a few more there's a lot of weed in this net but this should roll out pretty easily there you go nice bass easy keeper but you see big sausage of weed for that we'll be able to just pull the net and you can see it will just roll out we just got to keep an eye out for some fish first basil down yeah we've got a little we've got a bass here got lack of that for a red mullet i'm going to quickly get him because as you can see the crabs they love red mullet With red mullet, you've got to be a bit careful because they, uh, they're quite a soft fish. Is there much up there? Nice. Lovely sized red mullet, that. So here we've got a bream. You can see how fresh in the net they are. That's what we want to see. lovely fresh fish got a jellyfish there you go lovely bream that one look at that for a mix of fish so far let's see what else we're gonna get we've got some weed but at least we got a few fish oh look at that there's a few bass a couple of nice ones there as well look at that that's more like it anything up there jellyfish go look at the jellyfish there's a couple of bass here. Nice. Nice to see some fish. Another bass here. As you can see, we've got we've got a little while of cleaning to do, but we'll get there. Oh, look at this jellyfish. Is that a moon jelly? I think it's called a moon jellyfish. Look at that big boy massive you get a lot of these all washed up with the seaweed we'll just put him down there lovely one eh skinny bass that one Nice fish that. Cool scissors, yeah. Not a huge amount of fish today guys, but first trip of the season. Can't go wrong, that's a lovely fish. Happy days. He'll be off in a minute. Fresh in the net. Little one, they get caught in the mouth just by one of the meshes. It's unlucky. Here, make his way out with the tide. One, two. Yeah, that one's in, look at that. That is literally the legal size. <laughs> Perfect. Nice fish. <coughs> One big red so far, and a bream. So let's see what the rest of the net's got. Nice bass there, guys. Another one there. This end isn't too bad. There's not a huge amount of seaweed here. There's a couple of nice ones here. Look at that. That's a fatty, that one. Oh, there's actually a few here, eh? Yeah. Is there going to be any swimming around? What's that, black bream or gill? Black bream? That's a mullet. Mullet. Oh yeah. You see the seaweed in this guys. <laughs> I can see colour over here. Not a bad first trip. Another bass there. 
see more colour coming up. Got a bit of a pool here. Sometimes when there's a pool, you'll get bass stuck behind it. Guilty. It's a guilt head bream there. Nice little mix today. Mullet. What's this coming up? We got a bass. A couple more bass. This is not a bad one for the first hit. First net of the season, that's not bad. Another bass there. More colour. Yeah. What we got here? It's bass, there's gilt head. It's another little gilt head. Nice to see. Shows there's fish around, there's gilt head bass. What a net. <laughs> we got weeded. We got a bit of cleaning to do, but we don't mind if we get a little bit of a wage out of it. Look at that. Where is he? Oh yeah. This is what we're talking about guys. You can see, stuck behind the net. And all of these are keepers apart from one that I've you've seen me let go before. Because we get here so early, the fish are, are seriously alive. So we just let them go if they are small. Best way to keep it all uh, going good. There's another fish up there. Is that a big gilt? Is it a mullet? Big mullet, look at that. <laughs> what a net. Right, we're going to get de-fishing now. And we'll show you a tally at the end, guys. That's a nice size bass. When I say nice size, they're around the three pound mark, these ones. The smaller ones are around the two. But lovely to see. Just shows this is really early in the season, so it's nice to see fish around like this. A few more bass here, guys. Nicer ones as well. I've seen a few swells in here. And I believe there's more. This is a gilt head bream. Yeah. Delicious these are. Really good eating fish. It's nice to see them round as well. It's been a really dull patch for quite a while now in Guernsey, so I think the big storms, the recent storms have started to stir things up, get the fish on the feed again. So all we're doing is working our way along the net, taking the fish out, rolling out any seaweed, just working our way along till we're done. And uh, there's a few fish in the pool, but uh, a lot of these will literally just go straight into the net. So we're just going to carry on along, sort this all out. There we go. Great average fish, decent sizes. Not the gill head. Check that out, it's a little soul. Look at that little beauty. Yeah, little Dover soul. Be free. Shows how big the meshes are, look. See how easy that fish came out. That's a two and a half pound bass. Just shows. They are actually quite select in what they catch these sort of nets because they are a certain size. We're only after the keeper stuff today. Around this sort of size, a two and a half pound to three pounders. It's ideal. We're just lucky enough that there's a few around. Beautiful fish, prime fish. Look at all that weed. <laughs> That's the risk you take. Just a warning to anyone who wanted to do these. You do get weeded out often, so it's not all just catching fish, but it is fun. Yeah. I wonder if they've dried themselves out, right? as you can tell guys a lot of these fish are alive that's what i was saying before is the fish always leave at the last minute of the tide so at high tide 
they're, they're free swimming everywhere, but it's the dropping tide that we catch them when it shallows out. I must admit, I didn't expect the species today. I thought we'd get a few bass and some seaweed, but it's been quite a successful trip. Not a bad trip at all. Not a monster hit by any means, but nice to see some fish. There's a good average size, eh? Yeah. Really good average. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Loads. It's a good thing about these bigger meshes, eh? The fish come out so easy. Look at that, lovely fish. Prime eating. And this stuff will be on ice within an hour. Beautiful. Certainly worth the risk this was, eh? Healthy box of bass, really. We'll have a count top when we go land, guys. So that's a nice little box of bass, really. And we got bream and gilt heads. Oh, yeah. Lovely big green mullet, eh? Is that about five pounder? Beauty. That's not a bad trip at all. Good average stamper fish too. Nice. Look at that. We found the bass that were uh, in the stream before. Just laying on the beach. Easy pickings! <laughs> They're good sized fish as well. Look at that. Beautiful. Just waiting for us. We're going to have to keep an eye out in the seaweed now and uh, hopefully we see some more fluffing around. They're like three pounders, those, eh? Really nice fish. <laughs> Last bass of the night. Not a bad haul at all this lot. Just when we think the fish are over, one pops its head out. <laughs> Another little bass for the pot. The last piece of seaweed. We're even catching stones. Lovely. It's a rare catch that one. Almost there. Net's nearly packed away. Let's go and put some fish on ice. So there you are guys. First net and trip off the shore for 2024. Good start to the season. Some nice fish around. Hopefully it continues. Just sorting through our fish. We do this every trip. Matt's got his box, I got mine. And we just eyeball it and just split the fish. Nice. Racking up the kilos. <laughs> size of that. That was a lovely size mullet. That red one is a beast as well. 11.9 of bass. Big buggers. Oh, right. Two kilos. Five pounds. Well, four, four, four. Fish get ice, they'll be sorted in the morning by in about two or three hours. 
all of these will be sorted out. Nice healthy box of fish each. Done.